Welcome to today's lecture on the topic of entropion. Entropion is a condition characterized by the inward turning of the eyelid, leading to potential complications and discomfort for patients. Throughout this lecture, we will explore the anatomy, physiology, classification, pathophysiology, clinical evaluation, management strategies, postoperative care, complications, associated ocular surface disorders, special situations, recent advances, and conclude with case studies and critical analysis. Let us delve into the intricacies of entropion and its implications for patients. Entropion is a common eyelid problem encountered in ophthalmic practice. It is crucial for medical professionals to have a comprehensive understanding of this condition to provide optimal care to affected individuals. Entropion can occur due to multiple factors, including age-related changes, scarring, congenital abnormalities, and certain medical conditions such as trachoma. It is essential to understand the underlying etiology and risk factors associated with entropion to tailor treatment plans accordingly. To comprehend the mechanisms of entropion, a thorough understanding of eyelid anatomy and physiology is necessary. The eyelid complex consists of various components, such as the tarsal plate, retractors, orbicularis oculi muscle, and mabomian glands. Any disruption to these structures can contribute to the development of entropion. Understanding the intricate anatomy and physiology is crucial for accurate diagnosis and management decisions. Entropion can be classified into different subtypes based on the underlying etiology and anatomical involvement. The classification includes involutional entropion, cicatricial entropion, congenital entropion, spastic entropion, and mechanical entropion. Each subtype presents distinct challenges and requires a tailored approach to management. Familiarity with the classification system allows medical professionals to accurately determine the appropriate treatment strategy. The pathophysiology of entropion involves a complex interplay of multiple factors, including changes in eyelid elasticity, orbicularis oculi muscle dysfunction, mechanical stress, scarring, and inflammation. These factors contribute to the inward rolling of the eyelid margin. A detailed understanding of the pathophysiological processes assists in devising effective treatment modalities and prevents disease progression. A meticulous clinical evaluation is integral to diagnose entropion accurately. This entails a comprehensive patient history, including the presence of ocular symptoms, assessment of eyelid position and integrity, evaluation of eyelid laxity, and examination of the ocular surface. Various diagnostic techniques, such as slit lamp examination, may be utilized to aid in diagnosis. A systematic approach to clinical evaluation ensures accurate diagnosis and appropriate management decisions. Management strategies for entropion encompass both non-surgical and surgical options. Non-surgical approaches include lubrication, eyelid taping, and botulinum toxin injections. Surgical intervention may involve eyelid tightening procedures, such as lateral tarsal strip, averting sutures, or eyelid repositioning. Selection of the most suitable management strategy depends on the patient's age, the severity of entropion, underlying etiology, and associated ocular surface conditions. Postoperative care and follow-up play a crucial role in ensuring optimal outcomes after entropion surgery. This involves close monitoring of wound healing, controlling inflammation, managing postoperative symptoms, and ensuring appropriate eyelid position and function. Regular follow-up visits allow early detection and management of potential complications, ensuring patients long-term satisfaction and well-being. Despite meticulous surgical techniques and appropriate management, complications and treatment failures can occur in entropion cases. Complications may include eyelid malposition, wound-related issues, recurrence of entropion, or ocular surface abnormalities. Understanding these potential complications empowers medical professionals to anticipate and manage them effectively, improving patient outcomes. Entropion often coexists with various ocular surface disorders, such as dry eye syndrome, conjunctivitis, corneal abrasions, or even corneal ulceration in severe cases. Addressing these associated ocular surface disorders concurrently is crucial for successful entropion management. We will explore the implications of these coexisting conditions and their impact on treatment decisions. Certain special situations may necessitate modified approaches in the management of entropion. This could include cases of congenital entropion in pediatric patients or instances where entropion occurs as a result of trauma or tumor involvement. Understanding the nuances associated with these special situations is vital for tailoring treatment plans and achieving optimal outcomes. The field of entropion management is continuously evolving, with ongoing research and emerging techniques. This section will highlight recent advances in surgical approaches, novel therapeutic options, and promising technologies that have the potential to revolutionize entropion management. Staying up to date with these advancements ensures the delivery of the most advanced and effective care to patients.
the presentation and analysis of case studies provide valuable insights into real-world scenarios and challenges encountered in Entropion management. Through interactive case discussions, students will gain a deeper understanding of clinical decision-making, troubleshooting complications, and refining treatment plans. Critical analysis of case studies enriches the learning experience and offers a platform for collaborative problem-solving. Entropion is a complex condition that should be approached systematically. Understanding the anatomy, classification, evaluation, management, and postoperative care is essential. Stay updated on research to improve patient outcomes. Your expertise as future ophthalmologists is vital in helping patients with entropion.